Ви почуєте? І... The mesmerizing sound of the Ukrainian Bandurist chorus from Detroit wowing audiences in Kyiv as part of their nationwide tour. They have already visited several cities, schools, and concert halls to share their versions of Ukrainian traditional songs. In 1945, they had to make a decision. They knew what their fate would be if they went back home. Uh, as Kobzars and Bandurists in the past were persecuted and repressed, they uh, you know, threw the dice and saw you know, that there might be hope in the West. And so in 1949, the Ukrainian Banderist Chorus came to the United States, and now our membership is all through all of North America, and we continue the, the legacy and the mission that they left us. The chorus came to Kyiv with 53 of its members. It's comprised of Bandura players, bass players, and vocalists. Their primary instrument is a complex one, which has been passed down since the times of Cossacks. With up to 68 strings, the bandura combines elements of the zither and lute and can be referred to as a kobza. The interesting thing about the Kharkiv bandura is you have access to the full gamut of the instrument with both hands. I can play with the right hand down here and the, and the left hand up top here. Etc. and stuff like that. So that's how this thing is played. We have these little devices down here at the bottom that allow us to change keys. They're, they were designed a long time ago, so they're, they only work kind of okay, not, not necessarily the best. To the members, it's more than just the joy of the music. It's also an important and inclusive way of passing down their cultural heritage and celebrating their ancestry. <laughs> Although most of the members were born on the other side of the world, their attachment to their Ukrainian roots is truly important to them. For me to be a young member in Capella um, is a very really big honor and privilege to be brought in so young. Um, it's especially through this trip right now, like seeing where the roots started and things like that. Like yesterday, I went to the theater, the first concert ever was played. I just had goosebumps and I even teared up a little bit. We sang the first song of Staya Kamada. And it was just this, I don't know, this, this thing just filled up inside of me, you know? It was just something special. As Ukrainian traditions are passed on from generation to generation, the chorus says it's an honor to come and play for audiences in their ancestral homeland. Michael Lahoda, UATV.